Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel and today I am joined by a few guests and a few more that are on the ground and we're going to talk about my plant collection and the tips and how I take care of them. The first segment we are going to talk about are tools and the stuff I use to help take care of my plants. The first tool I use is a plant mister and I'll talk about what plants I missed you should definitely get one of these. I got this off of Etsy and if I can find the shop, I'll link it down below. But it was only 12 bucks and I think it's 16 ounces. This was a really good find and I just really like this. I think it's very cute and it looks good in my room. My next tip is a watering can. Got it at Urban Outfitters and this is a mini watering can and I don't recommend this. When I was looking at the reviews for this, it said the watering can comes out in the water. And I was like, what does that mean? How does the watering can come out in the water? Well, I realized you put water in it, right? Because you're watering your plants. And the water turns copper. Parts of the inside of the watering can leaves chunks in the water. I don't water my plants with this, but I do water my biology plants with this for my biology project. Looks cute in my room though. That's all that matters, right? Matches the aesthetic. My next tip or set. <laughs> my next tip is a plant flute. <laughs> my next tip is plant food. I got this at Lowe's. I only use this with one plant, so I'll talk about that when I get to that part. I think that plants should get a little bit of food. They shouldn't just have water. I don't feed my succulents or my biology project plants, but I do feed my leafy plant. I think it helps a lot. Another tip I have is distilled water. I don't water my plants with tap water because tap water has more chlorine in it and I think your plants don't need chlorine. I don't know if that's scientific fact or something, but I just water all my potted plants that I get out of store with distilled water. My next segment is all my plants. I'm going to introduce you all to my plants. The first plant we're going to be talking about is my, it's supposed to be a four different kind of succulent pot plant, but he didn't really work out. As you can tell, he has bark. This is Spike. This is Bob, this is Britt, and this is Jim. Succulents require sun, but one of my huge tips for you, if you can take anything out of this video, is don't put your succulents directly in the sun. Because what happens is, is they grow out towards the sun, creating bark. Not really bark, but it looks like bark. You want them to grow like, ah. you want them not to grow up but out because you want them to be big and lush you want them to look cute bob's struggling i don't water him very much because they don't need a lot of water i just don't like that plant my next plant is gerald and he is an angel leaf plant one of my huge tips is cut off their tips when they're brown you want them to be able to breathe more another thing to help them breathe because what do we breathe out carbon dioxide yeah! and what do plants need to breathe in carbon dioxide yeah! to help make their food. I dust off his leaves with like a wet or a damp paper towel and it gets all the dust off so they can breathe in the carbon dioxide either. I don't know if that's true, but I think it should be. Another thing I do is I spritz him with water, like the leaf. But that's not the only thing I do to water them. I also water him with distilled water. He definitely gets watered two to three times a week. That's Gerald. But my other plant is Albert, and he is an aloe plant. He's grown a lot since I got him. I saw him all by himself at Meyer, and I was like, Mom, I need to have him. Long story short, I got Albert. Yeah, his tips are a little bit brown, but that's okay. Albert isn't in the sun a lot. He is actually in the corner of my room that you guys see in my other videos. I probably water him once to two times a week. Those are my three oldest plants that I have. Whoa. Whoa. This has little flowers on it. Never realized that. These are more of my fancier pot plants. These three are older and these two I just got this summer. This is a lucky bamboo plant. This is my second one and it's dying again. I do spritz him with water with my water spritzer, but he still decides to die. Glad I didn't name him. Another plant I have is this one. He is a grassy 
succulent. He is not supposed to be watered. He's supposed to be spritzed. I don't spritz them a lot. They don't require a lot of water. Probably once a month. This I thought wasn't a real cactus at first. One day I poked myself and it hurt really bad. I got him at Lowe's so I don't know why I thought he'd be fake. Why would Lowe's sell fake plants? Now this is a real cactus. I got him at Kroger and he was on sale. Let's talk about sun for these. He is supposed to have sun but I don't put him in sun. I kind of leave him over in my desk area. I don't see any signs that he's not enjoying it over there. These are supposed to be shaded because if you think about it where bamboo sanctuaries are, they don't have a lot of sunlight. It's mostly shade and it's very humid there so that's why you definitely want to spritz this because they like the moisture. They said absolutely no sunlight on the little like card thing. I put him up on my bookshelf so he doesn't get sun at all. This is my newest plant. I got him along with this cactus. He's kind of dying on the bottom. Gotta take the leaves off. Oh, that almost went my coffee. I don't water him a lot. I keep him on my desk so he's out of the sun. One of my tips for keeping them healthy, take the yellow or the dead leaves off the plant. I just think you should keep it fresh and clean and not keep dead things in here. It's not gonna help it grow. These are all my more fancier pot plants. These are my plastic container plants and I got them all at Meyer. He's not very strong. I have to lean him up against the wall. And same with this guy, he's got a big stem, but he he's a little struggling too. Sometimes he'll fall over. This guy stands up on his own. For sunlight, I have these three on a shelf by my desk so they don't get a lot of sunlight and I think they do a lot better over there. I have him always on my nightstand and he does very well. I don't water them a lot. Sometimes I'll spritz them with my watering spritzer. I water them probably once to two times every one to two weeks. They're very lightweight and that's why they work on my shelf over by my desk. My next segment are plants that I've grown on my own and these are all different types of sunflowers. This is mammoth. This is solar eclipse. This is Miss Mars. This is incredible. This is citrus. Now, Mammoth is growing really tall and that is because he's the biggest sunflower that I've planted. Mistake number one. These pots are so freaking small. Don't plant three seeds in one because stupid me was like, Oh, you know, if I plant three, only one probably will end up growing. No sun. I leave them in the sun. I can't wait till they start spreading flowers. I'm so excited for when that happens. These are for my biology project for school. They're doing really well. I'm super proud of it. So, yay. That was it for this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me talking about my plant collection slash my tips and how I take care of them. They're all doing fairly well. In conclusion, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.